In this video, we will learn how to use GDB to debug our program. Debugging is the process of identifying and removing errors from our computer program. Linux operating system has a standard tool called GDB. GDB on Linux is reliable, simple, and fast. I'm going to write a simple C++ program and then we will use GDB to debug it. I will use gedit editor uh, to write our C++ program, gedit, and I will name it num or for numbers dot c p and just hit enter and I'm just going to include stream and uh, I O stream T is missing and then our int main function and then just a simple variable and x equals to 10 and another variable int y set to 20 and then i will have another variable sum where i will add this to x plus y and then i'm going to print std c out and sum is and I will print the value of sum and 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 end of line in line character and then I'm going to return zero. This is just a simple program which add two numbers x and y and store the result in sum and then I'm going to print the sums value over here. Now on my Linux terminal, I'm going to compile our program by using G++ with minus C option and pass in our program name num.cpp. I'm just going to create a make file. I'm going to G add in make file and then i'm going to execute that make file because i'm going to add the rules and set our compiler to g plus plus and then all and then uh, just to remind you the tab if you can that would be better and now uh, our program name num and then num and then num dot object file o file and then the command that will be dollar sign then our cc and then with minus o this need to be close and minus o option num num dot o and then i'm going to use num dot o and then need a tab again over here and then num dot cpp and then tab again and dollar sign and cc and minus c option and num dot cpp and now just a code to clean it up then it will be clean to remove our files and 
within the tab and just add remove num dot o and then num and that will be num and just save it and then i'm going to run a make and it will use this our make file this will be make and hit enter and our compile fine now we have the executables we can debug it from the command line we need to type gdb and then our num uh, i missed the b at the end i'm gonna do it again num gdb and it should be num gdb number now it's look better you can see this line over here it says no debugging symbol found in num gdb doesn't have debug symbols to debug the program we can communicate to the compiler that the debug symbols are to be included during the compilation, so I'm going to modify our make file. Now I'm going to add a minus G option to the G++ compiler section. It's over here. I'm just going to add a minus G option to our make file. And I'm just going to save it. Before I run it again, I need to rebuild the application with the make command. I just enter Q to quit the uh, GDB and now I'm going to run the make again. Yes. And type make and hint enter. And I'm going to run our GDB again. And now use GDB and our program name GDB num. There was nothing changed if you don't want to run make unless you modify your program then you can do it I just so now over here GDB and num and we need to start again now we are ready to debug it a debug session typically include setting breakpoint watching the content of variables and others and now I'm going to list the code by command with jdb gdb so it's gonna be i'm just need to enter the l command to list the content uh, of our code and you can see it lists the content of our code with the l command now i'm going to set up breakpoint to set up breakpoint i'm going to run the command before this sets up breakpoint to the code line number four in our uh, current module it's going to use b then space and then four so it will uh, create a breakpoint for this line and now after the break point is set i'm going to run the program to run a program i will type the r command this run our num program we started with a gdb just need to type r and you can see the message over here starting program is num and it stopped over here to our break point where we set on line four and to proceed we can use the command n that is a step over on a gdb and if you want to step into you can use a s command i'm going to use n and hit enter and you can see 
we move to next line and then line five to see the content of our variable we can use the command p which will print the content of our variable i will use command p and the variable y and just hit enter I printed the value of x and it says 10 so I'm just gonna move one more over and I'm going to print the value of sum now or y also here I printed both values of x and py y is 20 and now I'm going to move one more then I print the value of sum and I need to type p and then sum and it printed 30 that we are added 20, 10 plus 20 and so the value of sum should be 30 so it's printed over here and now I'm going to run the rest of the program for this I can use the C command just need to enter C so it will run or complete the program and you can see the over here it printed sum is equals to 30 so our program executed this way you can use GDB to debug your program to keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Asim Code. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.